Today I'm going through my trash and I'm telling you would I repurchase it? Do I like it? Some things worth gift to me in PR or is it something that I, you know, recommend? Would I repur you know, would I purchase it? All of that. Let's get right into it. I don't know how much I have here. Um, okay, so this was gifted to me in PR. And this is called the Kosas Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray On Serum. I really enjoyed using this. Um, somebody said that it smelled horrible. I can't believe that you, because when I it was when I when they uh, sent this to me, I did kind of like a little review on it, and yeah, I don't know why people hate the smell. I honestly don't. But anyways, when what I was gonna say is, somebody kind of left a comment like, "I can't believe you like the smell." Well, everybody's different. I don't think it smells bad. Believe me, honey. If I felt like it smelled bad, I would have said it smells bad because I've used products before and I can't handle the scent. Like, I just can't. And this wasn't bad. Like, I don't I don't get that personally. But that's just me. I'm just telling you, I really enjoyed using it. Would I purchase it? I might purchase this in the future, but right now I'm not because I have so many products that I've used, so I'm not going to purchase it. But I definitely would recommend it, so... If you are looking for a vegan uh, collagen spray, I highly recommend it. I, I really enjoyed using it. I like that it's in glass, too. But I really liked it. So This is the Guru Nanda Coconut and Mint Pulling Oil. So I do really like this, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I did a whole review kind of talking about my coconut oil pulling <laughs> And I actually have to do it today. I've been kind of bad the last couple of days. I have not been doing it, and I can see it when I'm not doing it. It definitely makes a difference in my teeth. Um, I liked it, but it, it just kept going viral, and I couldn't buy it, and I don't like stuff like that. If I can't buy something, I'm like, forget about it. So I'm just using regular coconut oil right now, and it works for me. It is kind of, it's not that I do like a little bit of peppermint in here, but I can do it. It's like, after it kind of dissolves and kind of melts, it doesn't bother me, but it's the initial when you scoop it in, it's kind of gross. But I do get over that. I'm fine. And I do enjoy doing my coconut pulling. Like I said, don't look too, too. I feel like I need to do it. So I'm going to tell you, I definitely need to do it. The Avene Thermal Spray. I love this. I actually have another one. I've talked about this for years. This is really, really nice, especially if sensitive skin. Um, when my skin was really, really irritated from using some products, this really helped save me. Just the cool, refreshing feel. I love it. I use this in combination, too, when I use my Clear Blend Mini, which reminds me, I've got to order my stuff for my Clear Blend Mini. Um, but I, when I use the, whatever it's called, you know, you put that on before I use your microcart machine, whatever. Um, I will spray my face with this, too. And it just helps so it doesn't dry out so fast on my face. So that I use it for that as well. And I just, I love it. I always have this on hand. So definitely recommend. Um, My Grande Lash. I love this. This was gifted to me by the company there. They do, they do gift me a lot of the uh, Lash Serum right now, which I really appreciate. But I would pay for it myself because that's how I started out as I started buying it myself and now they gift it to me which like I said I appreciate but I love it I would not have lashes at all if it wasn't for this and I always and I say this all the time I used to have a spot right here where my lashes would not grow and it's the only thing that worked for me so I love it and I'm gonna keep using it and I tried the castor oil I tried the castor oil I'm gonna talk about that in another video before this it, it didn't work I've tried it three times didn't do anything for me okay so if you can use castor oil and grow your lashes, congratulations, you're lucky. This is something else that I am not going to um, repurchase. And I think I mentioned this in another video too, but now that it's out, I'm going to talk about it. So this is from Guru Nanda too. This is a mouthwash. It's a whitening one. Um, let me see what it says. It says that um, it's enamel safe whitening technology powered by nature. But then when you look at the ingredients, it has hydrogen peroxide in it. I don't know how natural that is, okay? Um, here's the thing. I hated the packaging on it, number one, because it was like, it's like this. Okay, you lift it up. It looks like, oh, that's kind of nice. You got the little thing you pour it in there. This, I'm not even going to try to open it right now. 
because I cut myself doing it. Okay, but there's two little holes here. And um, when you're pouring it out, at first it pours out evenly, it seems like, okay? But as you go through, it's like I was only getting stuff from the one side and then eventually I got that. I just kind of, kind of went back and forth. The packaging on here seems like a good idea, but it's not, it's a terrible idea. And I didn't notice anything with my teeth like being any more white or better or anything with it. It's just really gimmicky and I just, I don't recommend it. I just thought it was a waste. And I went through it extremely fast because of the packaging. That's another thing, too much product comes out. You try to control it, but it's just the way it is. It's just, just no. It, don't waste your money on it. If you like it, great. Share in the comments what I'm telling you. I'm not going to waste my money on it again. We'll talk about this even though um, I get this from a hairstylist. So. This is from Red David, and this is the Orchid Oil. This is the Orchid Oil, and this is the Dual Therapy. I'm sorry, it looks like it looks gross, but I, I love this. This is what I wear my, this I have it on my hair right now. I love it. So what is it? It will make your hair shiny. It will heat protect your hair. It just makes my hair feel amazing and just I love it. I only use this though on days when I'm going to dry my hair. Like if I'm going to be on camera or I'm going to be going out someplace and I want my hair to look amazing, I use it. If I'm going to be just at home, I don't use it because it's not cheap. Okay. I think it's like 45 or 50 bucks from my hairstylist, but it's worth it. For me, because I've never used a product like this that actually works, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and if you can find it, and if I can find a link, I will put it below. I make no commission on this, none, but I will share it with you if I can find the link for it. I, all I will tell you is this. Like I said, I get it from my hairstylist, and uh, shipping on it is really expensive because one time I couldn't get it from my hairstylist, so I decided to order it, and it was like $25 at least $25 to order it. So it was like $75 or something for one. And I'm not kidding. But yeah. So I know, I make sure now I tell my hair style, I'm like, please make sure you have one so I can buy. I mean, I buy them now when I don't run out because I just want to make sure that I have one all the time. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena. I love this. I love it. But I'm going to tell you something. So... Lancome gifted me some products and one of the things they gifted me was an eye makeup remover and um, I like it. I like it very much. I do like this, but I do notice that the particular mascara that I'm wearing is the YSL one and it's not hard to remove. It's just very messy to remove. So what I usually do is I use my I use my Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm when I do my whole face. I do that and it definitely breaks it down and gets rid of it. But then I need to get the rest of it off, and I feel like I feel like the Lancome does a better job than this with that. But I do really like this. I still recommend it. The only thing is Lancome is just... Are they on drugs? I mean, I appreciate them gifting it to me, but I mean... If I can insert it here, I'll try to remember when I'm editing this. It's... Here, let me... I'm going to tell you right now. Where's my phone? It's not... Cheap. It's just ridiculous for an eye makeup remover. I'm sorry. It's just like, really? Like, if I'm going to spend money on skincare, I wanted to do something other than take my damn makeup off, okay? So, Lancome Eye Makeup Remover. You want to get the bifacial, by the way. You do not want to get the facial or whatever. Don't get that one, I swear. Do not... Do not get that one. That is like one of the worst ones. This is the one you want to get if you get it. This is the bifacial one. I know I'm saying it wrong. Please don't correct me. Um, so if you get the smallest one, I'm going to tell you what it is because I'm on their website right now. If you get the smallest one, then it is $38. That's for 4.2 ounces. If you get the 6.7, you're at 50. And if you get the 13.5, at $75 for eye makeup remover. That's why I stopped using it. I'm going to enjoy the one I got. I don't think about whether I want to get one or not. Maybe if it's on sale, but I'm not going to get the big one. Oh, of course, you know it wouldn't be. You know it wouldn't be if it wasn't for uh, a Neutrogena. I actually didn't bring it in here, but I believe I have another... Um, Vital proteins. I feel like I just used one up. 
can't remember, but I am still using it and I still do really like this. The uh, Sanitas Peptiderm. I just got a new one. This one lasted me about a year. I use this under my eyes. Somebody recently asked me, what am I doing differently with my eyes? I keep saying this in videos, but recently as when I'm filming this. Um, and this is what I use. This is the Peptiderm Sanitas. I use this. This is what I use. Um, I was using this morning and night, but I am testing out another one right now. I don't, I mentioned it in another video. I'm not going to mention it here because we'll see how it goes. Um, but this is what I use. And then I also use the Colin Rothschild, but I use that under my, like, I use this first and then I put that on top of it, like before I do my makeup. So yeah, and I love it. I feel like my dry eyes look good. So Oh, this is something else too. This is the Monsieur Big from Lancome. Now this was gifted to me and I'm just getting rid of it because I don't like it. it. The mascaras don't work for me. They just transfer on me. I'm sorry, I don't like them. Mascara is one of those things that's really funny. Um, and I'm really picky about my mascaras. The one that I love right now is, is this one, YSL. I really love this one. I was using two from Hourglass, but now I'm using this because it's... You know, now I'm not buying two mascaras. The only thing is, like I said, it's messy to take off. It's not hard to take off. It's just really, really messy. Sometimes I get just a tad bit of flaking. Sometimes I'll notice, oh, I got like a couple of things there, but at least it never transfers on me. So um, other than that little bit that I get sometimes with it, I freaking love this one. And I'm always going to try more mascaras and who knows, you know what I mean? There'll be another one that I, I'm going to like. I've tried some drugstore mascaras. And the most overhyped ones do not work for me. They don't. So I would rather not spend a lot. I did I did like, um, there was one that I liked for a while from the drugstore. I don't think I have it in here. I don't. Um, Anti-gravity one. Is it from Milani? That one I did really, really enjoy using. I, I did, but then I got this and it's like now I like this even better. So it's on my tongue. I mean, everything that I share with you guys is what I use. I don't like... Put, put stuff on camera and then I'm secretly you No, it's like, that's what I use. That's it. Those are my empties. I try to save it up for at least a month. Sometimes it goes two months and I have a ton of stuff in here. If there are any products you have recently started using that you love and you're like, girl, you need to try it. Please tell me in the comments whether it's makeup, skincare, whatever. Share it below. If there's stuff that you use you don't like, share it in the comments below. And if you're new here, I would love to have you join. I share new videos every single week. Please consider smashing the subscribe button below. It is free. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I would also greatly appreciate if you would share or share and comment on this video as well because it helps to push them out. And I would really, really appreciate your help. And for all of you that are new here and all my OGs, thank you so much for your continued support. It truly, truly, truly means a lot to me. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.